<laughs> oh my lambs. Welcome, 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 everyone. Joan and I chatting in the background and uh and it's 401. So <laughs> Hey, if you're just joining, I am Juliana, the inventor of the Jewel Loom, and I'm tired. <laughs> it's actually hitting me right now. And I think, too, it's because I'm still on No Orleans time. And uh, to say that we put the F in fun while we were there is an understatement. <laughs> so, so we are um, all recuperating as people were flying home yesterday and today from the National Art Materials uh, Show held in New Orleans, Louisiana. And, oh, Marlon Brando just busted in. He is not having it that I am not taking him for a walk yet, but boy, it's been a busy day just trying to catch up with everything. Hey, listen, um, I do want to let you know that apparently Facebook was having some issues. Uh, we had a notice in the stream yards um, that over the last three hours, there were some issues. So. I don't know if you, it look, I can see like a lot of YouTubes, but I don't see many Facebook pe people. So just know that there's actually a problem. And so um, you might want to come over here to the YouTube side of the world and watch the live. And so, yeah. So it's so great to see everyone. Everyone is here. Maria is here. Um, and so Rosalinda and Jenny and Anissa, lots of wonderful um, Jewel Loom community members. So great to see you. And um, Lorena, yeah, I love it. Cynthia, hello, hello. Great stuff. So listen, I just got back from, um, from the National Arts Material Trade Show. So if I'm a little stumbly and fumbly, that's why it was what, six days of just nonstop creativity and education. And so what I really wanted to do was to take this time and share with you all of the products. I mean, my table is covered. I've got stuff behind me. Um, we were simply, we were just adorned with such generosity and, um, and good things the moment Gosh, we landed like at three o'clock on Saturday. We got over to the hotel. We had until five o'clock to get over to the convention center for the um, meet the professionals. It was a big, a big event where the manufacturers set up tables and they were sharing all of their items with the creative um, professional part of the organization. And many people were um, just blessing us with samples of their product. And it was um, unbelievably gracious and kind of them. And after that, we had a big designer dinner. We went over to the uh, Criola. I think it was Criola Ole or something. Um, and uh, alligator <laughs> was on the menu. <laughs> and something referred to as turtle soup. <laughs> so with all due respect, I did not eat alligator or turtle soup, but, um, you know, it was on the, uh, on the menu and I just, you know, obviously stopped dead in my tracks. I was like, yeah, I'm not eating that, but I did have, um, I did at one of the events have some, uh, grits, and shrimp. And that was divine. I mean, that was really, really yummy. So New Orleans did not disappoint. Thank you for hosting us. Um, I would say the biggest takeaway is that the generosity and kindness and organization of the organization, NAMTA, but all of the others, all of the other folks from the city, the bus drivers, they were so engaging. They were so kind. They remembered one of the ladies. Um, she remembered Julie and Anne and myself, and she was, um, she knew us by name and they were just, they were so kind. Um, just a lot of really heartfelt folks. And we felt welcomed everywhere we went. We ate one day at the palace, um, which was on canal. And that was really yummy. Um, we did a whiskey tasting. And mama doesn't drink whiskey, but <laughs> what's happened in years past is that the event will have an event for 
the younger generation. And we got a little possibly miffed and we're like, well, what about us old folks? <laughs> us old timers, right? I've been in the industry for 30 years, right? There's a lot of us that have been around for a really long time. And so they came up with an event this year and it was a whiskey tasting and it was so much fun. The gentleman who did the presentation was funny and knowledgeable. Um, I, let's see, the first, Anne from Bellacraft um, Publishing is in the house. So perhaps she will remember the first whiskey that we tasted was a, um, was, was a rye based and, you know, he was talking about how you don't swirl your whiskey. Like this is not a wine tasting. This is a whiskey tasting. And he said, if you swirl your whiskey, like the aromas can like come back up into your nose and like burn your nose. And so there was no swirling. <laughs> and Anne says, yeah, the whiskey tasting was the best. Um, so that first one, again, it was, um, gosh, Anne, if you remember what the first whiskey was, let me know. I, you know, it definitely burnt the tongue. It de Okay, there we go. It was a Zacharac rye. Definitely a little too much. Um, it smelled divine, but it was, a, it was definitely way too much for me. The second whiskey <laughs> might have mama trying to drink a little whiskey. I don't know. It was Buffalo Trace. And it was yummy. Um, again, not a whiskey drinker. I have Chardonnay here and there and not much more than that. But um, apparently it's the kind where like you would have one big ice cube ice cube, and then you would pour the whiskey over it. Um, it was delicious. The third one, I think both of us just kind of looked at, you know, we all looked at each other and went, yeah. <laughs> but, but it was really a lot of fun. And it was fun to see a person in their element of presentation and demonstration doing their thing. And he was so knowledgeable about the history of whiskey and, um, you know, how they are, it's aged in these barrels, uh, with, was it white oak and they can't use them more than once, which I thought was kind of interesting just based on a sustainability type of thing. But, um, but it's like the law and, oh, you drank the third one. Yeah. But the second was the best. Yes. <laughs> And uh, so anyway, it was just really, it's always fun to see how products are demonstrated, you know, how they, how the story is told about them. And, and, um, and I love that. And I love, you know, the history of a, com a company that's, you know, family company that's been around. And, and so, you know, if you're interested at all in whiskey, you know, that's a really fun thing to do. It's on Canal. It's the Zacharach, um family. and. Um, yeah, it's a it's a fun thing to do when you're in New Orleans. So, yeah, after the first use, the barrels are used in winemaking. Yeah, so that must be where that um, that bourbon type smell comes from. Like especially if you're doing reds. Yeah, I miss that part. <laughs> but it was a fun time. It was really really a great time. We also. Um, went to the Mardi Gras warehouse where they store all of the Mardi Gras floats. And that was really just exceptional and inspirational. And there were just all these big caricatures and the color and the detail. And, you know, it just makes you want to experience, you know, Mardi Gras because there's like this overwhelming sense of like, wow, this just must be so cool to see going down the streets. Um, after we toured that area, we went into a big warehouse type place and they call it the mansion. And so it's, it's kind of like being at Disneyland. In fact, somebody did say, if I'm, if my memory serves me correct, um, it was designed by somebody from Disney. So, you know, you go in and it's the faux house, except for there, you could see that there, it actually did house um, offices or what have you. And the it was, sky was all dreamy and, you know, there were fake trees and there was water and the food was great. It's where I tried the, the shrimp and the grits and, and we danced and we literally closed the place down and the sheriff had to escort us 
uh, the remainder of us out. It was so funny. I've not been escorted by the police in a really long time. <laughs> so we were just cracking up, you know, over that. And, um, you know, it's just, and, and the education was so good. I got to do Tammy Hahnemann's two hour content class. And Tammy had just a plethora of information for people who are responsible um, to produce content, you know, whether you're a brick and mortar or an online store or a designer, there was a lot of really great information. And I was super proud of her to be, you know, sitting in her class and, and learning from her as well. And so that was really good. And then we went to um, a Sizzix class. And um, I think I left my cards uh, with Anne. I can't remember now because they're not here. But I did make a card. I used a stencil like a big girl. And I did some double coloring. Um, I will say that Sizzix has a glue with a fine tip that's pretty stinking cool. Like I was thinking, wow, this would be a really interesting application for jewelry making. And so I wasn't able to bring any home with me, but if I ever get my hands on a bottle, I will definitely share that with you. I, I really thought that um, the glue was nice. It had a nice application um, as far as consistency. And again, the tip was uh, really nice and fine for getting those tight spots like on our bracelets, say if we're doing the hemp cord. So um, I did really like that as well. So in my younger days, I tried tequila and it turned me five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I d definitely do not do tequila. <laughs> that does not work for mama. Um, there were some, uh, just to kind of give you an overview, um, you know, when you get in, you register. This was our, this was our lanyard. So here's something that's really fun that you might get a kick out of. So this was my badge. And then they offered ribbons to kind of help identify or help you tell people, right? Like what you identify with. And so I'm pretty sure I used a lot of them. We've got the old timer, somebody, what happens here stays here. Trade show diva, be happy. Top dog, troublemaker, cele uh, celebrating National Craft Month, and it's all about me. <laughs> so, you know, of course, some people were very modest and only took a few. I had to take all of them that I related to. But it was, it's really kind of fun because you, you know, you're walking around with your badge on. And of course, everybody wants to know, like, oh, well, what ribbon did you choose? And so I was like, hey, I kind of related to all of these things. So that's a that's really a lot of fun. And um, and so, yeah, Anne says she used no ribbons. <laughs> I had a moment. I had a moment. You guys must have been doing something. And uh, and I had a moment. But so let's see what else happened. Um, I'm going to start showing you some of the products here. We had a great time. Um, there's a couple of videos, very short, that Anne and myself and Eileen and Amanda and Sarah and Susie? No, not Susie. Am I forgetting anybody? I'm like trying to remember a couple days ago, right? Um, but we did a couple little videos on the BellaCon event. And so I will get those up and running. But in the meantime, there are a few swag bag what is it called? Still, still a few swag bag uh, registrations available, which means if you pay uh, a certain price, you're going to get a bag full of a ton of stuff and made some additional connections while we were at the show. And so I do believe that there's even more in the swag bag. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I do believe again, correct me if I'm wrong, that you retained a couple more instructors and so this event just keeps growing. And for the price, it's just crazy how much education you're going to get. So um, just a few swag bags left, and they're filled with about $200 worth of product. Uh, Jewel Loom has made something special for the event, and so you'll have that in your kit. My workshops uh, kits, along with 
the kits of the other teachers, those are separate. So you pay to go to the event and just like you would any other time, if you choose to go to a class that's covered in the registration, but if you want the kit, it's extra. My kits have been flying out the door. So if you haven't heard, I partnered with Eileen Hall and I made her her own loom for paper crafting. And it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So I am, um, my workshop, the first one is all about uh, decorating a spine, decorating the spine of a journal, journal, very simple um, weaving with sorry ribbon and other types of materials. And, um, and then the other class will be adding a beaded type pendant to her sewing box. She has like a cute little sewing box die. It's ridiculously cute. So I'm really excited about that. Um, make sure you do not put any codes in for discounting. I tell you that like the first sentence in the product, there are no discounts on the workshop kits. Like all the love has to be spread out into a few different areas. Um, and we've priced it to be right. And so just make sure that, um, that you don't do that. I'm just taking a look here to see if I've lost something. Yeah. And to your point, Ann, yeah. So the kits, um, range from $16 on up. It just depends on my, like what class you're taking. So yeah, some surprise instructors. Okay. I don't even know. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be surprised. I physically will be in Texas, uh, during the event along with a couple other people. And then the other teachers who actually range not only in the U S but overseas as well. We have, um, folks, teachers, designers. So, I mean, it's huge. It's just a really, really beautiful event. It's four days filled with over 24 workshops, a pajama party in the house, tips and tricks. Um, she's not mentioning that there's probably going to be wine, <laughs> no whiskey, please. No whiskey. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, so I did win something. I did win. I had my eye um, on, on one of the machines. I'll tell you about in a second here. So my friend, Ed Roth, I have known him forever and a day uh, from the craft world, mostly. He's a New Yorker. And I think he told me he's in the Bronx right now. No, I think he said, where did he say? Did he say Queens? I don't know. Anyway, he's in New York and I love him. He's such a, he's just a real sweet, sweet, sweet man. Um, he has stencil one. I'm sorry. I'm just, just probably from traveling. Oh, I don't have a rag. Um, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> We're all just be sure to use Julie. Yes. Be sure to use the uh, affiliate link that Joan is sharing to register for Bellicon. Because that will help with the um, kennel spa resort that this tape talk has to go to. I picked him up yesterday. I wanted to cry. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to start a GoFundMe account for Brando. Anyway, I won this. Look at Is that so cool? It's a stencil. Isn't that fun? So Stencil One is the company. Ed Roth is the owner designer. He is just um, a lovely human. And he has a plethora of stencils. He had a really cool mermaid one. But this was his gift. And I won it. So isn't that neat? So I'll have to figure out like what I'm going to use. I realized I also came home with no... Oh, I take that back. Actually, so... These people were so generous. Okay, so this is what Silver Brush Limited was giving out at this event. So look at all these. Look at them all. So I do have a stencil brush. Yeah, so I'll be able to do that. So I'll just have to get some creams. Stencil one put a similar design on the back of a jean jacket. Yes, and it was awesome. It definitely was. Aw. Yeah, I need to live somewhere where Marlon Brando can be taken care of outside of the resort. Oh, my God, it's so expensive. Anyway, so how nice of them, right? This is Silver Brush. So 
they had put this into their little bag. So the thing was you would go from table to table and you would um, listen about their education on their product. And, uh, and then they were, they would, you know, give you, gift you like this beautiful, you know, product. So all I need is, and what product do I need to do this? What, which creams are we going to use? Tell me which creams I need so that I can use my stencil and I'll do a demo. So we'll let Ann tell me <laughs> that was her job. This is what you need. <laughs> this is what you're going to do. So she'll tell me, she'll tell me what I need for that. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me who was passing these out. And do you remember somebody had made journals? Gosh, darn. I think it was, and it's so funny because it's not marked anywhere. So, oh, you can use the Royal Talons Amsterdam paint. Okay, well, that's going to be a lesson. You're, I guess we're going to have to do that together because, <laughs> yeah, I love the paint too. I just feel like I need um, a little more basic instruction. But now I have paintbrushes, so maybe I'll be more empowered. Anyway, I really wish I knew which company this was. Anne says, I did not get that. Yeah, somebody had like a pile of them and and they're not tagged with their business card or anything. Let that be a lesson. I can't give you a thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh my gosh, there's just so much. Um, this company had the best lighting. Oh my gosh. I think they were just delish. Daylight. So take a look at those. Look at those. Aren't those cool? They had like some really cool lighting and it was beautiful light. So anyway, okay, that was that. And um, we love, correct, oh my gosh. Yeah, this was, this is Ashley's company, right? So look at this cool bag. Isn't it nice? Okay, so let me open that. I haven't even opened this up yet. Okay, Ash. No, we did open this up. Okay, Ash has got um really cool. And I think Anne's probably gonna have to make me sound better. So the sublim sublimation world is like on fire. If I had to point out you know, like on the floor, what seemed to be drawing people outside of paint and brushes because craft and paint like have merged. And I would definitely say that it's heavier on the art supply. Um, but, but craft is starting to come back into, into the organization. So sublimation is super cool. It's all that in a bag of Cheerios. Um, there are machines that you can use, but Artist Spree, I hope I'm enunciating that correctly, Ashley, correct, <laughs> has simplified it and you don't have to have a machine, right? And it's easy. Yeah. So you don't, okay, see, here we go. Artist Spree is a way to sublimate without sublimation printer. So you can dabble in this idea of the sublimation and not have to spend hundreds of dollars just to get started to just try to figure out whether or not you really like it. So they've got ink pad, ink pads and markers. Um, and yeah, pads, markers, and paints. Okay, so here's, here's kind of like, Here's kind of like a cool illustration. Whoops. So I'm trying to like give you some idea of what goes on at the show and to let you know of the companies that were really generous and kind to us. Matters. <laughs> Matters. Okay. So... We love, we love Ash and um, her company, again, Artist Spree, right? And I hope I'm saying that right. So you can see that. So if you see um, their .com, artistspree.com, okay? So you could go check them out 
and maybe somebody can spell this out. A R T E S P R I X dot com. That's their that's their website. So if you're if you've been thinking about sublimation, but you're just like, oh my God, like there's so much to invest and I don't even know if I'm going to like it. I would go play around with this good yummy stuff and see, see if it's something that you want to add to your creative wheelhouse. Um, and they're a great company and they've been really, really great to Anne. And so that means a lot to me. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, um, let me do a little demo on this one. So one of the main reasons, main reasons, well, let's just be honest. The main reason I went was to see my friends <laughs> and have a good time and <laughs> drink a lot of wine and go whiskey tasting. Um, and when I say to see my friends, really, like I have a lot of friends in the industry and I miss them and I love them. And we used to see each other twice a year. And and then for years we didn't get to see each other. And and so now we get to see each other again. And it's 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 rather special. So I had Robert make me a bunch of sustainable Baltic birch tags. OK, so this is the same wood that we're using, like in the buttons and the looms, et cetera. And I realized that many times Joan and I will say, hey, you can personalize your loom, um, you know, use your color pencils, use your stains and your paints, et cetera. And then you'll be like, OK, you know, but you know, like which ones or what else can I do? And so I really wanted to play around with some things at the show on the tags to see like what worked. So one of the cool things, and correct me if I'm wrong, Anne, but I actually think this was your idea with the rub-ons. So who would have thought of that, right? Taking me back to my paper crafting days way back so uniquely creative and i've already taken it out of the the package but you know they gave everyone a sheet of their rub-ons again extremely gracious and kind um uniquely creative okay and let's see is that their dot com it is uniquely creative dot com dot au so they're in the australias they're in the australias okay and um, rub-ons are, are back. Yeah, bringing rub-ons back. I love that. What does Melanie say? Could I use the pearl paint on my loom? Um, yeah, as, so, okay, let me back up and let me just tell you. I really felt a lot of the time when I saw a paint or an, some sort of an application that was like really delish. It also came with sticking the paintbrush in the water. And I just can't consciously tell you to do that because it's Baltic birch wood. And, you know, we don't want you putting too much water in the brush into the paint or what have you. And then your wood split, that would not be okay. So with that said, the pearl paints don't tend to show up unless you've got that black base. So I don't know, Mel. I'm going to let Ann. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like you have to have a really nice acrylic base in order for those pearls to show up. Am I right or wrong, Ann? I don't know. I don't know if she's still there. But I'm going to set this up to do the rub on because I think it's really cool. And you might get a kick out of it because you could actually put the rub on onto your loom and personalize it. So let me just scoot over here really quick. Oh my gosh. Hi, Kelly. So I'm going to bring this over. And um, so, yeah, if you want to switch me out, Joan, let's see what we got. Or yeah. Okay. So, okay. So this is one I already did. Look at how pretty that is. And that's a rub on. That's not a stamp. It's a rub on. Okay. And so you could see I'm rubbing it and it's totally been rubbed into the wood. So you could get like a, 
a collection of rub-ons that relate to your, you know, what you like, your personality, and use those. So I'll show you how easy it is. What you want to do, and actually I'm just going to turn this one over so that if I have to use that um, for something else. So what you do is you take your rub-ons, and they usually come on a sheet like this. And then you cut out the one that you want to use, right? And so I did that right here. I just was like, oh, it's like really beautiful jewel blue with all of these gorgeous um, flowers. I don't know if you saw the post with the bedroom that I posted last week. This reminds me of that cottage bedroom. It's so pretty. So I'm actually holding the design and a protective back. And so it's sandwiched. If you look, if you look at this, the packaged product, it's, it's pretty thick. I know you can't really feel it, but see how this side is blank. And then this side is printed, right? So you have to separate those two and you don't separate them until you're going to use it. Cause that's what protects the rub on the actual design. So you want to separate them okay and be very careful it's not a good idea to touch this area you really want to be protective so you know you might even want to use tweezers um just definitely don't get your fingers on you know on that area and then we're just going to center it we're you know like right in the middle of the tag here so i will lay it down okay and then i just like to take my finger and make sure that's nice and secure. And now I need to release the image on to the wood. So the craft stick comes with the with the kit. And you're just going to start to rub. And in most cases you can see that it's releasing. So I'm just going to go over the entire image and again, what we're doing, I know you're like, okay, wait a minute. I thought this was a weaving channel. <laughs> it is, it is. It's a creative channel. Um, we have sustainable Baltic birch products and looms, and we like to personalize them. And so one of the things I'm showing, if you're just tuning in, is a rub-on and how the rub-on can be applied to the wood. So you could just see that I started at the top and I worked my way down. Now, let me just look at a side here. Cause like I said, like I can see bird's eye view, right? Because I'm, I'm here and I can see the releasing. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to be really careful when I'm lifting this, because if the image is not separated from, um, you know, the paper here, I don't, I don't want it to be uh, missing. So I'll very careful. So if I see that I'm pulling up the film and the design is not coming with it, I know that I'm good. Oh, look at the magic. And if by chance I was pulling this and I saw that part of the image was still on the film, I would just lay it back down. Like I feel like I need to do that right there just right there because I don't know that it was really coming okay so let's oh I feel like I still need that edge so just be really careful when you're pulling it back and okay and then we're just gonna whoop I can feel that you could almost feel like there's still some resistance and that's like a big like a big flag, like, uh-oh, I gotta, I need to still give it some pressure. Okay. So let's try again. And I just saw, I, you know what? I think that's just something extra. I don't think that that's a part of much. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Is that so cool? So what a really neat way to add a little personalization to your Baltic birch products. Temporary tattoos. Totally, totally it is. <laughs> so 
Rub-ons can be found at your independent paper crafting store. Um, they can sometimes be found at the mass, you know, as well, Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby. But really, I would encourage you to look um, for your local independent scrapbook store. You know, we've got a really big one in Santa uh, Clarita, California. That's where Stacy Park's scrapbook, Scrapbooking Made Simple is located. Um, and, you know, you just, you can also use the Googles to, um, to look for rub-ons. Many companies in the paper crafting world carry them. I don't know if uh, Eileen has her own line of uh, rub-ons. Maybe Ann does. I don't know. Um, but it's making me want to have my own line. I think I should do some designs for rub-ons, right? Like all the icons. How cool would that be? So, again, just... Uh, follow the instructions that I just, you know, showed you. Be careful. Don't just rip that film off. You got to really kind of rub, peek, rub, peek. You know, you always want to make sure that all of the pieces have come off. Yeah. And Anne says she needs some. Okay. So what are we just going to make some? Ooh, rub-ons with earring and pendant legs. Come on now. <laughs> Is this something we can do, uh, Bella Crafts Publishing? <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you all uh, remember, but um, Bella Craft Publishing is going to be the new home of the Jewel Loom Inspirations book. So we're hoping to have that all dialed in in the next, um, I don't know, probably hopefully by maybe May 1st or the middle of May. And Anne has a big event to, to uh, finish up. But I just am loving that. Okay, here's the other one that I did. So I, I'm going to say a big vote for using rub-ons to decorate your Baltic birch products, your Jewel Loom Baltic birch looms. I think you could just add, let me just see something for giggles. Let's get the small, um, let me see, there must be a small wisdom warrior around here somewhere. <laughs> you know, so, you know, maybe, you know, oh, look at the little star. Look at the little star, right? It's it's light blue. So like, say I just wanted to add some stars. That would be really cool. So I'm love, love, loving like two thumbs up and five stars of using rub-ons on the wood. I think that would just look absolutely cool. And it could just be a simple little star. And then look at all these guys. How fun is that? Like this little pattern. Yeah. So... It, and this is something that's very simple and re, and an instant reward, right? Like you're not going to be stressing. You don't have to have paint and paint brushes. You pick up a pack of these and you saw how simple it was. So I'm totally digging this idea. Even this will look cool. That would look really cool. Look at, you could see how fun that would be. So yeah, big two thumbs up on the idea of using rub-ons. I love, 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 love that. And again, uh, thank you, Uniquely Creative. Look, they even gave us a little, a pen. So very nice, very nice company. All these folks, just such sweet, sweet people. All right, let me, let me get that out of the way. Um, So when it came to... <laughs> When it came to the playing around with inks and watercolors and pens and all of the stuff, right? So I was just like whipping out all of my blank tags and I was, you know, just kind of like taking things that were on, you know, the tables at the trade show and they were doing demonstrations and make and takes. And I didn't really want to like take away time from, you know, if there was buyers or whatever at the booth. So anyway, um, Yasu, okay. Yasutomo. So my bestie, oh my God, I love, I can't believe I got to see Karen. So much fun. And didn't you and I do this together? I think we did. And um, so really, really super cool application and really beautiful products, really, really beautiful products. But again, you know, we had the paintbrush and we had a little bit of water involved and it just makes me, I don't know. I just, I just don't want you to use too much water and then have an issue. But what I can tell you is that I love this company. 
I love, love, love this company. They're super good people, like super good people. I feel like I have their card. Hold on. Let me just see. I feel like I have their card. Do I have their card? I do have their card. Okay, so here's the company. All right. Really great people. Really great people. And they've been in the industry forever and a day. So their product line, I definitely highly recommend. But I'm just going to say that even though this is on the board, Birch, maybe you do your buttons. Maybe you do your buttons. Your smaller Baltic Birch items that you can control the application. Um, oh, get the heck out of here. Are you kidding me? Karen is Karen from... Yasutomo will be teaching at Bellacon. Oh, 2025. Girl, you locked her in. Good for you. She's the, I'm telling you this, she's like a genius designer. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, yeah, but maybe smaller jewel loom, Baltic birch projects, buttons, buttons, earrings. I don't know that I want you doing this on your looms. Not unless you're an incredibly advanced painter. Okay. So that's them. All right. I love them. Um, another, you know, so these were just other like, okay, so these were super rad. I mean, they look like lipstick. They were in these super cool um, cases. But their tips were like lipstick. So they were very thick. Now we did play around with taking the paintbrush, swiping it on the top, and then stroking. So, and sadly, I don't know why I don't have the name of this company. Probably because I knew right away that it just wasn't going to be, you know, the best thing. I know. Yes, Maria, he's snoring. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, and then over at the uh, Marvin Uchida booth, I just did, uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> Did Brando like, uh, well, that was weird. Okay, well, we're just going to go to this camera. I don't know what the heck happened. So over at the Marvi Uchida booth, um, I was playing around with their pens. And um, they're just another really great company. Very gracious and kind with their time. And um, I can't say enough good things about them. Okay. They're, they're everywhere. So Marvi uh, Uchida, great company, incredibly gracious. Look at all these deliciousness. So these are the Bistro Chalk, chalk Marker. Okay. Um, the ooh, Deco Color Acrylic Paint nice and opaque brush some more of like the pen type so these would probably be fun these would probably be um really fun things to explore i would say start with the small stuff like buttons and um try them on that because of the fine tip i think you'd be very successful so marvi uchita we love <laughs> Marvy Cheetah. I'm going to put you in your bag. Oh my gosh. There's just so much stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't even know I got this. What is this? This is, this is tonic tonic studios. I mean, come on now. Like these people were just so, uh, thoughtful. Like they literally like took all this time to, um, share. So little birdie crafts, Sweet. Tonic Studios, very popular. Um, they have a lot of cool things. Tonic Studios. What is this? That's really cute. What is it? Something drops. Dream drops? Ooh, that might be fun. What is that? I can't even get in it. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's just like products for days. Okay, what is this? This is... It looks like, oh, I bet it's like some super cool glitter glue, glue stuff. Look at that. 
Now that would be fun. You could probably put that on to, um, again, like your buttons um, or your charms. That would be really fun. I think that the buttons and the charms just lend themselves to some really cool applications and then some flowers, some little dimensional stuff. Um, I don't know what this is. And what is this? <laughs> What's going on here? This is, listen, I just got in late last night and uh, I just wanted to share with you. So please be patient and know that it's not because I'm not necessarily prepared. It's just literally getting everything out of my suitcase. Um, Bella says, Anne says, those are Nuvo drops and they are amazing. That is a water brush. Okay. So the first thing I showed was a drop. And what, like a glue glitter or something? It looks really pretty. And and that is a water brush. Okay. Yeah. I have, a lot, I, I have to learn some of these things. <laughs> I'm not proficient at all of this wonderful stuff. So you could use that with my watercolors. Okay. Yes, that's right. Anne has a lot of cool products too. Um. All right. Now this really, okay. This is... N-I-J-I -I Essentials. And I'm trying for the life of me to remember where I was when this went down because this looks really beautiful. Look at that. Does that ring a bell, Anne? I keep referring to Anne because you need to understand that Anne, okay, first of all, Julie McGuffey, Anne Butler, Juliana Avalar. <laughs> Julie plus Anne equals Juliana. So we're, we're like tied at the hip. You think Karen did this one too? It says, N -n you know what? That is her writing. So this is also the Yasi Tomo. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is also by this delicious company. So. Love them, love them, love them. Great people, great, great people. So both of these examples are from Yasi Tomo. So, and that's .com, Y-A-S-U-T-O-M-O.com. And they're, they're pretty like everywhere. So you should be able to find them. And if not, go to their .com. Okay, so that is that. Um, I found this in my bag and I'm pretty much going to lose my Cheerios over it. And I think Sheldon's probably going to lose his Cheerios. <laughs> this is an all metal lead holder. Okay. And it holds all of these gorgeous colors. Black, sepia, burnt, and sienna saddle brown indian yellow and white and they're four sketches sketching journaling and so they fit into the holder like it's probably really cool stuff that's expensive <laughs> so i will def i know i will definitely be looking this this is pacific arc and I will definitely um, be teaching myself how to use these appropriately because I don't think they're cheap. What do you say? I love that. I got the metallics. Oh, they had metallics too. Oh my God. They were giving out different ones. I'm so appreciative. Thank you. I mean, my goodness. Yeah. This will be a lot of fun. So great company, Pacific Arc. So if you go to the art store and you guys, there are independently owned art stores throughout the country. You just got to find them and look for them. Try to support those guys. Okay. The independent. Um, I love my big guys, but I love my little guys a lot. So what are these? Oh, is this with, oh, this is with um, sublimation. These are her markers, right? Iron on ink. Yeah. So that goes with this package over here. And um, I really wanted to show you. I, I just don't understand what happened to my iPhone. <laughs> let's see what's going on. It's like, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
That's so weird. Okay. Because I want you to see the Jacquard inks. They are divine. Oh, my God. They're so delicious. Okay. So, Jacquard, um, let's bring this in. So, I was just playing around with the Jacquard inks. I feel like they're probably, um, you know, this is the pinata, right? So, they're, they're pretty. They've been around, like, forever. Ever, ever, ever. And... Um, what did, what did she say? We might have to demo them at the event. Yeah, I'll bring them. I'll throw them in my suitcase. The uh, the lead. So they were so sweet. I told them what I wanted to do, that I was trying to show you all, you know, like what could we use on the wood. And so he let me take three colors. And then um, this like helps to spread it, right? So let's just play around. Let's just see. What do we got here? You don't have to shake them. I don't know why I did that. What color do we got? Um, this one looks a little darker. So what I discovered as well, oh, okay, use, use the jacquard on your clay. Yes. I used to use them on the, um, so they, they come out very quickly here. So let's just be careful. So see how they spread. So you could take your brush, you know, like what I would suggest is that you do that first drop on plastic, like a plastic, um, you know, type of container, anything recyclable that, you know, you were just going to throw away and then put that first drop um, in there and then use a paintbrush to like pick it up. And then you could like draw into the design on, um, on the loom or on the buttons. So this is a darker blue. But look at how it just, it's so amazing. And it's just really dancing on the wood without any, um, oh, are they, well, they're inks. Yeah, they're jacquard inks. So this is the teal, which, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but look at how they just dance. Isn't that crazy? So you can see, you could see why you wouldn't put them right onto the wood, right? You would want to have them on, um, you would want to have them on a, like a plastic container. And then you could just get a very fine, look at that. Let me bring that up to the camera. So look at how they move. I mean, that is crazy. So you're definitely going to want to test before you use this on your final surface. I want you to play and practice and play and practice and repeat because they look at, they just dance. They're so beautiful. Yeah. So I think they're going to do really well on the wood in a very small application. Again, I want you to put these into a plastic container and then, okay. So Anne introduced me to the most delicious folks and they actually have, is it fair to say they have the best brushes? Like, like literally, Anne, I think, right? So these brushes are from a company that's been around i'm assuming they've been around forever and a day and um this line is called dynasty and these it's saying that primary application for watercolors but they're very um they're very thin so look at how gorgeous they are oh my god when she handed me these i thought i was gonna like pass out they're very nice. Very, very nice. Pea cocktails. I love that. <laughs> so very gorgeous. You don't, she told me like, don't, you don't really want to get any water on them past, past this area right here, because this wood is a very fine um, wood. And the company is F M brush company. And just like Ann says, they have the best brushes ever. And they shared, like, look at this, black gold. Come on now. K 
can I get a come on now? Because, yeah. So we want to show FM Brush Company a lot of love. They're made in the USA. They're out of New York. We love our New Yorkers. Look at how gorgeous these brushes are. You don't want to let these out of your sight. Okay, so these are the um, Black Gold by Dynasty. So what you could do is, you know, like these smaller ones would probably be really nice um, to use with the Jacquard inks. But I also like this set because these are even smaller. And Anne says, I use their Lily brushes and their Stencil Pro. So awesome. So this is just Dynasty. So you always want to be really careful, like, you know, just, yeah, like don't saturate them in water. You just want to clean them very well. So they are made in Thailand, but they are assembled in the USA, which I love. So dynastybrush.com. You can go check them out. You can tell them that Jules sent you. <laughs> Is Robin, is Robin in the house? I think I saw her earlier in the, in the very beginning, but these are just, I don't even want to open these seriously. Like they're just so beautiful. I don't even want to open them. They're so pretty. I'm going to have to hide these. <laughs> okay. So those are the brushes. Um, I do want to speak to, um, we had the pleasure of, um, working a little bit with ad tech while we were there. Ad tech has been in the industry forever and a day. They are a phenomenal glue company. They, um, I love how they say it. They say they make their glue stick makes every glue gun better. So I thought that was really cute and clever. Basically the gun, um, glue gun is portable and cordless. It has a battery. Okay. And so that can come out and, um, you charge it with the USB. So how amazing is that? So, you know, very cool. No matter where you are, um, you can, you can charge it. It's a short cord. You could certainly leave it on the cord, but really the whole gist of it is that it's cordless. So when you turn it on, okay, you'll see that the blue light comes on. And so that's charged. It's going to last up to about 75 minutes. It's got 80% less glue strings. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't, I'm going to let it sit for a second. That's something we didn't discuss before warm up time. Did we discuss that? I don't think we discussed that. Um, but we'll let that do its thing here really quick. So the cool thing with this is that, um, what we found, I just want to, I don't want to, I want to like glue something. Where's those flowers? Where the flowers go? Okay, here we go. Let's just grab one of these for giggles. Like, how do we get in here? So yeah, we love AdTech. Um, they are so good to us. I just can't even tell you. Like, they're so good to us, and um, we obviously want to let you know of the companies that just show us love. Um, because it just means a lot as a designer. And ad tech is just really, 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 really kind. Yeah, it's a great glue gun, Robin, right? Um, let me tell you a little secret. So there is a new one coming out. Looks the same. But the circuit board um, has been updated. And so it's actually lasting up to 90 minutes. So, but this one at 75 minutes, like, rocks my world. So I'm good. Um, oh my goodness, AdTech is such an awesome company. Yeah. They have put together items with a value. What? So AdTech has put together items in the Bellicon swag bag worth $45 in retail and door prizes. Oh my God. Okay, let it heat up for about a minute and it works for about an hour. Okay. Yeah. So we were demonstrating, um, there were four of us that took turns, Susie, myself, and Julie and Ann, um, took turns at the ad tech booth on Monday and Tuesday. And we were demonstrating this glue gun for them because we love them and they're very good to us. So, um, okay. Let me see if it's, if it's warmed up. So 
I'm just going to put some glue on here and I want you to see my whole hand. So my hand is on here. I love that it fits my little boo-boo hand. And so I'm just going to squeeze. Let's see if it's warm. Oh, let me make sure this is in there. Oh boy. Is it warm yet? It might not be warm yet. Hold on, because we're just now getting locked and loaded. Oh, it's not even in enough jewels. Come on, you're killing me. <laughs> I only demonstrated this for like two days. <laughs> Demo fail. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I just want you to see. So. Oh, because I didn't even have it in there. It still has to get warm. Oh my God. I am so tired. Okay. Let's just let that get warm before I screw it all up. Okay. Let me read some comments. Follow the Jewel Room Facebook. Yes, please. Yes. And definitely give us a subscription. Um, here to uh, the Jewel Loom YouTube page. Bella Crafts is growing their YouTube page. I would highly recommend you subscribe to that one um, so that you know what's going on with Bella Craft Publishing and does a lot of really great online magazines um, that uh, don't have a subscription fee. And so she does concentrate a lot in the paper craft world, but uh, she and I are going to be doing some really great things together outside of that and in that. So. Uh, the new one warms up in about a minute. The first edition takes about two minutes. I think that's my, that's the one I've got. Plus my glue stick wasn't even in like, holy cow. Yes, Brenda. I really wanted you all just to kind of see like everything and it's a lot. So, you know, feel free to go back and then fast forward <laughs> through, through all of the information. Um, but let's see, let's see if it works now. Yep, there it goes. Do you see it coming out? So I'm just kind of pushing down. And then I very carefully, and I want to get my darn hand in here as well. So when I release, it's a very slow release. And it's like the glue just sucks itself back in. It's crazy. So you've got 80% less. I call them glue boogers. <laughs> Let 80% less stringing. And this is a medium heat. So we're just going to put that on there. <gasps> so cute. You know what? We might need to add these tags to the shop. I mean, come on now. We already got the design for them. I mean, some rub ons and little doodads like this. I think I need to start cutting my uh, flower dies again. So something fun for your table, like if like for Eliana when she's doing her jewelry. Or Kara when she's showing your houses. Maria when she's doing gift giving of all of her things. Everyone's got a reason. We have such an amazing group of humans. Very cool. Okay. We need those in the shop. <laughs> all right. So that was that was a glue gun. I think uh, the rest of it, again, uh, Joan, if you want to bring me up, because I think I could speak really quick to the rest. I know we're running out of time and I'm like so tired. Okay. Super cool from... Amanda, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know. open these yet. Does this one actually come on? Amanda has pearl pear blossom, um, but she does the lights, and her product is just so stinking cool. Oh, okay, so here's her product. So this is a light system, and it goes into the cards. And so anyway, look at this mask. Isn't that so cute? Look, hello. <laughs> and of course, got a ton of Mardi Gras beads and not because of why you think. <laughs> um, I do want to talk to you. So Beadalon was there and, um, and Wyatt gave me a sample of the new Wildfire Ultra. It's 0 .004. And I'm super stoked about this because, um, I've been getting a little crazy with my 11 O's lately wanting to like put some loops on the 11 O's. And if you try to do that with a 0.006, sometimes it's a little more fun than humans are allowed to have. In fact, I broke a bead on a project I'm working on and I was slightly peed off my fault, my bad. Um, so I'm hoping that the 0.004 might allow me to get back through the 11 O like if I wanted to do a loop. And so I'm super stoked. Yeah. 
Wildfire Ultra 0.004. I wasn't thinking about it. And then, like I said, they were there and started talking about it. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I think I do want to try that. So he was gracious enough to, um, to give me a sample. That was Wyatt. So I'm going to try that for sure. I did get to see Danielle, so I did get to see Danielle Wicks and get to love on her, and we talked for a very long time about some really cool stuff, really cool stuff. She gave me a sample of the waxed um, polyester thread, so I'm excited to, to play around with that, and um, oh my gosh, and then the girls, okay, I definitely want you to show Kim, her company is Trace. Jolie, so T R E S J O L I E, and she um, is a paper crafter. And um, she came around and gave everybody goodie bags. Isn't that sweet? Such a sweet, sweet gesture. Thank you, Kim. So go check out her company and show her some love. Trace Jolie. I know that's I know that's how she does it on the Instagram. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we cannot wait for Bellicon and we just love you so much. So thank you for everything. Thank you for peeking in. And then a quick shout out also to um, Sarah Clark, um, who also did look at, she made her designer friends a bag. Let's get messy. And she put, <laughs> I know it's after five, but let me just show you this really quick. So she's got the creative bag. You're going to die. You're going to die when you see this. Look at this. <laughs> Drink. Drinks well with others. I mean, come on. Can you even? So stinking cute. So she had this in the bag. Um, some hand lotions and chapstick. But this is Sarah's studio. What a cool card. And it's Sarah Clark. Sarah is one of two silhouette troubleshooters in the world in the world like she is all that a bag of cheerios and some peanut m ms <laughs> so super cool super cool all these people they were just so amazing all this talent just like Whoa! so incredible but yeah so lots of fun stuff i can't wait to like incorporate it here and there um got some more paints from some people, some acrylic and, and just a lot of really cool things, but definitely loving, um, the glue gun all day, every day, ad tech. I totally love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all of your hospitality at the show. Uh, Jacquard, thank you for sending me home with some amazing paints. I know the jewel loomers are going to love them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, remember, if you're going to try the Jacquard Pinata inks, please put the ink into a plastic display type of thing and pick it up with a brush and then put it onto your buttons or what have you, okay? Um, just because you can see how it likes to dance very quickly. Rub-ons, come on. Super come on now. I'm going to have to figure out how to get my own. <laughs> But in the meantime, support the paper crafter designers out there and um, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Did I tell you everything? I don't know, but I think I did. So just had a really great time. I, um, I didn't post much. I think I posted once and that's because I really, really, really wanted to be present and I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be with what was happening before me and to just, just like really take it all in. And for me, I wanted to just stay focused on all of that. I do have lots of video and, and photos, um, but I really wanted to stay present. And so I apologize or I don't <laughs> for not posting a lot because I just really wanted to learn and to be able to come back and share with you. So I love you guys. and Thank you for everything. And um, I hope someday that we can all be in person at some show, somewhere, some event. I hope it's a Jewel Loom event in the South, somewhere in Tennessee, because Joan has to be there. And, um, and yeah, 
So next week I'll do a box opening on the April um, Creative Soul Kit. It is gorgeous. Joan just shared with me what she's thinking about doing. And I've also got a special opportunity for the current Creative Soul members on an item. So I'm going to, I'm going to send that out to you and, uh, and see what you think. So, all right, Maria. And thank you, Robin and Sherry and Gloria. Oh, Gloria just signed up for Bellicon. It's going to be so much fun. You're just going to learn so much. And these, these teachers, these people, these humans, they're just so stinking talented and creative and they have so many ideas. So good. Thank you, Kelly and Zach. Yes, thank you, Brenda. And thank you for uh, to all of those um, that are watching and, and maybe not chiming in and all of those that will be watching the replay. As usual, just reach out and um, let me know if you need something. So, all right, you guys, we're going to release Joan out into the wild. I got to go walk Brando and I'm so tired and hungry. <laughs> it might be a pizza night. <laughs> Love you.